Ah, you know, looking at this, it looks like a handheld gaming console, but it's actually an Android phone. This is the Red Magic 9 Pro, and this is possibly the coolest Android gaming phone available today. Now, before we go over the gaming side, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the sleek design of this phone, because it looks really cool. Now, the first thing you'll notice is just how flat everything is. There's no camera bumps anywhere. Usually when you're playing video games, those camera bumps get in the way, not with this phone. Now, in order to get rid of those camera bumps, of course, you gotta make the phone slightly bigger, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. The extra thickness of the phone actually makes it more comfortable to hold. Not to mention, you're able to add more internals that you normally don't see on phones, or at least larger things, like for example, a 6,500 milliamp battery. Also, when was the last time you saw a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack? Now on the sides, you'll notice that there are stereo firing speakers, which sound phenomenal. Of course, you got your volume rocker switch, your power on and off button, and then this little red switch right here. When you enable that, it converts the whole UI into more gaming centric mode, which is actually cool. And we'll talk more about that in a second. You also have these haptic trigger buttons on top, which again is more for gaming. And then on the bottom, USB-C standard, dual SIM card slot, and then something that is actually really cool, there's two 50 megapixel cameras. But here's where it gets interesting. The bottom one is not a camera. It's actually a fan. This has a built-in fan to keep the internals cool. So you see there's an intake and an exhaust fan. How cool is that? No pun intended. Okay, I'll stop with the dad jokes, even though I'm a fan of this phone. Now moving towards the front, you get a 6.8 inch, 120 hertz display with 1600 nits of peak brightness, which even in broad daylight, you shouldn't have trouble seeing this beautiful display. Now underneath the AMOLED screen, there's a front facing hidden camera. How cool is that, right? They kind of wanted that James Bond sleek design. So I love that. Also kind of cherry on top, they put a screen protector. Now I know they're not the first company to do that, but I really like that and I wish other manufacturers would take note. Also hidden in the display is a fingerprint reader and it works really well and I haven't had any issues with it not registering. The display has a 960 hertz touch sampling rate, so it's very responsive. The software on this phone is Red Magic OS 9, which is based on Android 14 and powering everything is a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset. And with its upgrading cooling system, we're able to really push this processor, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Okay guys, I think we need to go to the studio to talk about the fun stuff. So I thought it would be much easier to show you guys in the studio a little demo of this phone. So one of the things that makes this phone interesting is the fact that it has a cooling fan. So you can turn this on and off. It actually also turns on by default when you plug it into charge. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and it makes this really cool sound effect when I do that. It sounds like a car is turning on, which I think is pretty interesting. Now there's also different modes. For example, right now it's set to fast cooling. That means that the fan is spinning at its fastest. Now I have a microphone right up there and I'm gonna try to see if maybe you guys can actually hear the fan spinning because I can't actually hear it, but let's see if you guys can. If we're really quiet, you can barely hear it and I have to kind of turn it up. Now I don't have to have it in the fastest setting. I can actually set it to balance. Now balance dissipation, what that means is that if a game is running a little too hot, CPU is kind of pulling in a little bit more performance, it will ramp up the speed. But once it starts to cool everything down, it will lower the fan. Now, this is where the fun thing happens is when you can actually modify the different lighting effects. I mean, this is a gaming phone for after all. So we have to make sure that we have fun with it. So right now I set it to orange. If I wanna go green, I can go ahead and do that. But really where the magic is, is this little button right here. This is what turns this phone into a true gaming phone. So when I flip the switch, it just completely changes the UI of this phone. And now we're in this like game interface. And from here, I have additional settings that I can do. Like for example, I can see like achievements, network settings, I can like program this so when I turn my gaming mode on, I can like turn off notifications, only run specific apps, I can change different settings, for example, lock the screen brightness, I can enhance the color. There's so many things that I can do in here and even like customize more LED options. For example, my trigger buttons up here, I have them set to blue, but let's say I want it to match 
the green back here. Well, let me change it to green. Now I have these green trigger buttons up here. Now everything kind of matches. I mean, this is fun, right? And of course you can change, like for example, right now I have a steady, I can have it breathe. So it has different like effects. I can have it flash. It just feels like very gaming PC style, right? Now I can also customize each individual game. Let me show you. I play Call of Duty a lot. So if I go to Call of Duty right now, I can go here to these settings. And then from here, I can change, for example, the different touch sensitivity from the screen, the sampling rate. I can change the performance on the CPU. So I have it to rise. I want the fastest performance. But let's say I'm traveling and I don't wanna eat up my battery. Well, maybe I change it to balance. So it's still gonna give me performance, but it's gonna be a little bit easy so it doesn't eat up my battery. Or if I really wanna preserve battery, I can change this to Eco. Again, this really depends on the type of game that you're playing. So Call of Duty, I'm, I want the fastest. GPU, same thing, I have it to the highest quality. So even when I'm playing a Call of Duty, I have it in my settings so it doesn't have a frame rate cap. I believe it's like 60 or 30 frames per second. I uncap it because this will actually run it without any issues at the highest quality settings. Same thing, net settings, I can turn Wi-Fi low latency. That's gonna utilize a little bit more power, but it's gonna make the latency of the games much lower. So each game can be customized. So this is my Call of Duty settings. If I want Mario Kart to be more chill and friendly, I can do that. I can also disable the fan here if I wanted to. Again, if I turn this on, it will do that. Now, I wanna show you something that is, in my opinion, probably one of my favorite accessories for this Red Magic phone and that's their gaming controller. This is the Shadow Blade Gamepad 2, and this thing is freaking awesome. Hands down, one of my favorite accessories that you can use pretty much on any Android phone. This is actually made by Red Magic, but it works with most Android phones that have a USB-C, including iPhone Pro and iPhone Pro Max with USB-C. This thing is very comfortable to hold, and the way it works is actually very simple. So it has this like stretchy thing that you can pull depending on the size of your phone. So this is a pretty large phone. So we're gonna go ahead and put this here. It's got a USB-C connector on the side over here and you just kind of lock this into place. And that's basically it. You can see it says it's now wired. You got LED lighting throughout the gamepad. And the thing is now you're using your USB-C. So what are you gonna do when you wanna charge your phone? Well, they thought about all these things because now you can see there's a USB-C plug right here. So you can actually play and charge at the same time and also, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So if you're on a plane and you don't wanna disturb anybody next to you, well, you can just plug it in and it, everything still works. But using this controller just changes everything. Like I said, I love Call of Duty and I hate to say this, but yeah, multiplayer, I'm always winning number one. I just kick ass, dude. This thing is awesome. I love this freaking controller. Now, of course this phone can run any Android game, but I also tested it out using emulators and again, no problem. This phone is just so much fun to use. So I really think that if you're looking for a gaming phone, that of course that you can use on a day-to-day -day basis, emails, you know, as a regular phone, but also have a gaming side to it, hands down, I think this is probably the best option right now in the market. And with all these little cool accessories, like this is just one of those phones that I just love and I'm gonna take with me everywhere I go. Anyway guys, if you have any questions regarding the Red Magic Phone, leave me a comment down below. My name is Armando, thanks again for watching and you will catch me in the next one, adios.